I am standing on a ledge, hanging high over making a choice with nothing but persistent winds toppling me over my own indecisiveness. I used books like bricks to build a wall and cemented them with the hope that my old decisions might protect me from the harsh reality that the same title won't fix everything. It was easy to think with the hard-covered, thick-page, old and new testament with the righteous words, holy Bible stamped across the front declaring, I believe in something, I might be safe from another question. I, I used this book like it was my own personal dictionary. And if anyone wanted to know something about the stereotypical pastor's kid, all they had to do was look it up in the table of contents. That's where I went wrong. That's where misinterpretation aimed hatred at me, and like the man I was trying to be, I just turned the other cheek instead of trying to reconstruct the bond that this belief was said to create. I don't hate being Christian. I hate how being Christian makes some people feel because religious extremists shove them off cliffs with winds like hurricanes preaching the word sinner. And the only reason I know this is because of the taunting numerous sentences ending in question marks which feel like hooks pulling me closer to the breaking line between solid ground and the dark pit of discontentment. Why do you hate gays? Ouch. In the frantic process of trying to not say the wrong thing and pray to God that the right words come out of my mouth, even though I have nothing wrong nor right to say, I took a leap of faith into middle ground instead of searching treacherous lands. And as the words, I don't care, came out of my mouth, I finally stopped searching for an empty casket for when I was dead to a certain aspect of traditional values because I was finally capable of translating that I am only human. I'm not a single verse that shapes insecurities and forms a false representation of the words trapped in my mind about making a decision on another person. So just like with any other human being, I wouldn't. I wasn't wrong, but I wasn't right, and that's what believing truly meant. So instead of winds of chaotic idealism pushing to make my legs quiver in hopes of collapsing, I acquired a collection of books and made a library of beliefs titled Me.